The Real Bros of Simi Valley is a streaming show that debuted on YouTube back in 2017. Instantly becoming a viral sensation, the show racked up tens of millions of views and tens of thousands of comments. The Real Bros of Simi Valley was a success. Following the life and adventures of four best friends from high school who 10 years later still haven't moved on from their hometown, or anything else for that matter, the show is known for its satirical and smart comedy writing. Yo, why is he looking at me like that? Yo, Zan, get your boy, dog. As season three debuts on Facebook Watched, I sat down with creators and stars, Jimmy Tatro and Christian Pierce, to ask them about the success of the show and its characters. To kick off our conversation, I asked what gave them the idea to create The Real Bros of Simi Valley. Well, we were making, we had a YouTube channel, we were doing sketches, we were pumping them out every week, and uh, we wanted to do a series that, um, you know, we could do a little bit more uh, regularly, like produce something that lasts a little bit longer, and there was a lot of reality TV on at the time, and a lot of crazy reality shows we were noticing that, like, we didn't think were even real, like the real Housewives of Potomac. <laughs> You're right. I'm not sure where that is still. <laughs> so we kind of wanted to poke fun at that a little bit and um and yeah jim what do you think yeah i think we just wanted to do it was just kind of like we really wanted to do a reality show spoof there was so much to play with with just the way they shoot it and you know the fact that you have like hundreds of hours of footage and you can essentially make any storyline out of the existing footage you have was always just a funny idea to me and to us and uh you know, just the fact that you can like put music and sound effects behind stuff and make something out of nothing was kind of the driving force behind season one. Um, season two and three, real things are actually happening. So mm -hmm. we've, we've uh, grown the show in that way. But uh, yeah, the bread and butter of the show is just kind of like <clears throat> the idea of nothing really happening, but uh, the way it's shot and edited, making it look like the most dramatic thing ever. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's that's one of the things I love about it. One of my favorite lines is I think the baby's ready to throw hands or something. <laughs> like I love that. Yeah. We love it too. <laughs> we didn't love it. The baby. The baby didn't like it, yeah. <laughs> so uh you started out with four episodes and then expanded and now you're doing and now you're on season three with Facebook Watch with which will be ten episodes, correct? 11 episodes. 11 episodes. One of one of the episodes ended up coming in about double the length, so it was split into two. Um, but yeah, episode, I mean, season one was about, or season two, sorry, was about 164 minutes total, and season three is looking like it's going to be a little over 250 minutes total. 250. That too fitty. That's that's awesome. And so, really, the show has been about you know these these best friends that are you know ten plus years after after college and still kind of hanging out. And how have you guys grown both as creators and writers and producers, but also the characters? Um. Yeah, we were actually just saying that like the characters have, you know, there's they've developed so many like idiosyncratic qualities, like they are real people. Like we've invested so much in their own character, you know, in each of their character developments um, and like their arcs. So, you know, we've continued things that we planted in them in season one all the way now to season three that are still developing. And um, they're still growing as characters, like, you know, in their own respect in the world of the show, which is which is awesome. And still getting funnier. I think what's cool about this season uh, and the way the characters have grown is just that like, you know, with season, you know, first first season of a show, even the second season, a lot of like what you refer to in the characters past is stuff that it's kind of up to the audience's imagination mm -hmm. to, um, you know, visualize. Right. Whereas right. season three, you know, all the stuff in their past that's kind of brought them to where they are now are things that the audience, you know, has seen if they've seen season one and two. So it just kind of like gives a much better sense of, uh, I don't know, the audience feeling like they've been a, been along for the ride, and it, it gets uh, it gets really, really cool about like halfway through season three. Definitely, yeah. So, do you think that did, did you ever expect that it was going to turn into such a huge thing? I mean, with an insane amount of views. I go ahead. 
I usually would say uh, ye yes to this question <laughs> just because that's the way I kind of approach everything. It's right. Like going right. to make this into a bigger thing. But honestly, with this show, I never really saw this as being something that we were going to pursue and turn into like this big of a thing. It's yeah. honestly kind of gotten bigger than I ever pictured it getting, which Same. I, you know, I know it sounds cliche. I feel like people always say that. Like, I never thought this would happen. But like usually, I would say like I this is exactly what I thought would happen. But like is that for this specific show, it's actually not. I thought this was gonna be the one we made before the one we made. Right. I'm like this is gonna be like our test run during a series. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Which is funny because like back in the YouTube days, like there was like several times when like videos that we didn't think were gonna be anything, which is we needed to get a video up, were the right. ones that hit and like took off. We're like, what? This is the one they want? <laughs> yeah. Like we're, there was one time we were we were on spring break and like. I was freaking out because I was I like someone was supposed to upload something. Oh for my me, god, this is that. And I was happened. freaking out because I was like, <laughs> God damn, I have nothing. And all I had was this video we had shot that was like thirty seconds long. Yeah. And I was like, damn it, people are gonna be so pissed. And I uploaded it and it just went off. Yeah, we were in spring break. People were walking around like, Oh my god, your new video is so good. We're like, What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> thirty second one we just put out? Yeah. Like, yeah. From Mexico? <laughs> yeah. So is it fulfilling to you as creators to see, you know, something that, that you've put a lot of time, a lot of uh, brain power, a lot of physical, you know, man hours into something like this? And, you know, is it fulfilling to see uh, all these views, all this interaction, these people coming up to you and being like, bro, like, I love the show. Yeah, it's really cool, man. And it's awesome to like see, like, the cool, one of the cool things about Facebook is that you get to interact with your fan base and like see how they respond you know there's like a lot of transparency and like one of the coolest things for me is to see how it's resonated with people who aren't even from california who aren't from the west coast like everyone has their version of the bros who just like stayed in their hometown and kind of kept doing the same stuff since high school so it's cool it's cool to see that it resonates with people like literally all over the world and it's cool to see like you know all these characters have instagram accounts um, right <laughs> <laughs> these things are really happening so like it's cool to see you know last season before episode seven comes out and you know xander posts a photo with his baby just because right. you know in episode seven bryce is pissed about a photo of xander and his baby but you know we post that on wednesday and you know we see all the comments flooding in like oh bryce is gonna be so upset bryce is gonna be pissed <laughs> and then sure enough episode seven comes out and it's you know bryce pissed off about the photo yeah. of xander and his kid so it's cool being able to like interact and and uh, just make it like a really interactive show on on like not only Facebook but also on Instagram. Instagram yeah. Yeah, and that that's what's really cool about the show is you know marketing wise. I mean, it, you've fleshed out these characters to and you know not only from a creative standpoint but marketing wise, it's like genius, you know, and then we hop on Facebook watch and can watch an episode and give our real time feedback with other people that are watching or, or comment on other people that have made comments as they were watching. I mean, it's really like awesome territory that we're in. Yeah, it's a good community feel. We kind of want people to feel like they're in the real bros, like the world of the show, like while the show is airing. Yeah, what's cool about the, uh, the Instagram accounts as I started to say that, I completely, my train of thought just died. Are you serious? Yeah, my <laughs> brain cell just literally fizzled out. You just had a coffee. It was good. It was like, what I was going to say was pretty, was pretty solid. I doubt, it though. I doubt <laughs> it though. So for season three, which debuts this Friday, you have some pretty cool guests, including Pete Davidson, Simon Rex. How did they all get involved? Well, most of them were friends. Um, like I've been, I've been buddies with Pete for a while. We, we did a show together like a couple of years ago. Um, we've just been good buddies ever since. And then like Simon Rex, we had worked together with, uh, on some YouTube videos back in the day. Uh, Jay Chandra Sekar, we did a video with, I was in Super Troopers too. Paul Shear mm -hmm. in season two, which was awesome. He comes back in season three. Uh, awesome. Yeah. But, and then, you know, we got like Casey Fry and, and Noel Miller who, you know, where the fans really wanted to see in season three. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of a lot of fun cameos this season, and there's some that we aren't even gonna say. Yeah, right? we'll leave some secret. Sweet, that's awesome. And then, what do you think? So you know, 
season three it cannot wait 11 episodes what do you think have you ever thought about doing like a real housewives or jersey shore style like reunion episode at the end of the season you know like where you're all yeah yeah you know oh about? yeah you mean like um what do after, we call it after the bros after the bros like after the rose we wanted to do that after the bros it's just like honestly when you're you get to the point where you're actually like writing the show and like producing and you're on all these short timelines it's like the after the bros thing which we it's, it's a been whole an idea yeah it's like a whole other show and it's itself. like a whole nother production that we would like it's yeah. hard to bring that to the top of the priority list but we'll yeah. make that happen eventually. yeah it's gotta we're happen. gonna make it happen eventually yeah. Yeah, even if it's like just a one episode deal, like, you know, season recap sort of thing, like, I, I'm all about it. That, I think that would be so awesome. You'll show up to the live taping? <laughs> Absolutely. Nice. No, we're, yeah, we're, we're going to, we'll, we'll do so. We've, we wanted to do like that live taping vibe of yeah. all the characters showing up and like, we would have so much fun with that. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be insane. Well, Jimmy and Christian, thank you so much for hanging out with me on Pop Culture Weekly, care of iHeartRadio. I am so looking forward to Real Bros of Simi Valley Season 3 on Facebook Watch starting this Friday and then weekly after that. I cannot wait. We can't wait either, man. It's good talking to you. And we can't wait for Jingle Ball 2020. Can't wait. Hey, Jingle Ball. Uh, Jingle Ball. <laughs> there you go. Me too. <laughs> All right, bros. Thank you. Thank you, man.